ladies and gentlemen, it is a special Memorial Day episode. It is episode 134. You thought we weren't going to be here. Well, in your faces, to all the haters and to all the slackers that decided to not record a show or put out any content today because sports were happening. It is May 26. Currently, an NBA game is going on, uh, which looks like it's going to be 3 0. Unless another comeback happens, which I don't see that happening. But there was also a hockey game today. We've got college baseball and softball heating up. Uh, Golf as well today. It is National World Redhead Day. So happy National World Redhead Day. Tex is here. I am here. AK. We would like to wish you also a happy Memorial Day, everyone. I hope everybody has eaten way too many burgers and dogs and brats. Have you have you partaken in such? Nope. Mm. Just a couple corn dogs that my kids had left over. (laughs) You did not go to one. You didn't go to one cookout. I'm doing one tomorrow. Mm. Are you hosting? Nope. Hmm. Going Are to somebody else. To host? Are you afraid to host? Yes, I'm afraid to host. <laughs> <laughs> Too much pressure wanna, on the grill? No, I don't want to I don't want to clean the house. Oh. Get the house ready to host. Like that's that that in and of itself is an entire ordeal. Mm, that is true. Also with us, pair with a machine gun. Everyone is safe. He's got a sweet profile picture there. It's purple samurai. That's what it is. Mm. I wonder if that's a bear under there. He's also watching the race. Uh, just got out of the helicopter to drive in both the... Co- Wait a minute, what? Larson just got out of the... He- oh, oh, okay. He just got out of the helicopter. Whoa. He did both of those? That's pretty wild. So, anyways. Yes, we have company right now, but they they know that we do a show, and they like the show, so we're going to keep the show rolling so that we have... On schedule, mm-hmm. uh, mm. our takes on the DraftKings golf, our takes on this hockey series that Tex refuses to acknowledge. He thinks we're a Millie Goats uh, Rangers fan wagon. We are. Account, I mean, all I, the only not. thing we ever nope. we didn't we didn't say anything about this is not. First off, this is not the Twitter account does not belong to the New York Rangers. It belongs to the Millie Goats. <laughs> However, AK feels like the only team that he can tweet about is the New York Rangers. Never gives mm-hmm. awards to the Dallas Stars. Never gives awards to the Florida Panthers. Never gives awards to the Edmonton Oilers. Just kind of funny Faults. how that works. Fault. Just kind of I funny how given, that works. I have given the award to one of the Dallas Stars, I think. Mm. Okay. I can't remember who okay. it was. Grasping so. straws. This, is, this you. is this is you right now. I'm no. not milking a cow. This is this is AK grasping at straws. I am so sick of this beard. I could see my beard. <laughs> we went to the beach today. I could see it in the shadow whenever I got out of the water. It was sticking out like this. <laughs> Which you've entered a new phase of your beard. The I shadow hate phase. I hate it so much. Because it's not a good beard. My beard sucks. It's always I agree. sucked. I agree. So it looks like you the look curlies like the, down there. You look like the the conscript general from Mulan. That's your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Always taking notes of this oh, tiny little beard, song? this tiny little goatee. No, what's that song? Oh, I can't remember it. It was a banger, though. There was a banger song in there. Um, dang it, I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, so while I was You're there at the beach, in the mirror, trying to figure out who she is inside. That yes. One? Oh my gosh, what's it called? Da, 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 da. Oh no, you're talking about da, 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 that was pretty creative fishing? now. Why don't you use your fishing pole your fishing pole holders for fishing? So we had we had company and we took their car uh-huh. and there was a limited amount of room. 
um, so that we could all ride together. And so, right. yes, bear. Yes. Bear with a machine gun. I'll make a man out of you. Yes. And we're going to tell him. But we're <laughs> going to tell him. I was going to tell him after the show. Bear's there. Oh. I'll make a man out of you. Yes. Move on. Yes. There you go. Bear knows. Great. That was spectacular. So anyways, we're driving and I probably said a hundred times and me and the guy that's here, shout out MJ, that we should bring the fishing poles. And I couldn't, I'm telling you right now, dude, there's no way in the world there was a more perfect fishing day than there was today. No wind. Yep. Blowing slightly off the ocean. Water is glass. You're watching minnows. The dolphin, they put the beach out so far that the dolphin are like, you can cast to the dolphin. And I had, I was sitting there the whole time like, oh my gosh, how do we not have fishing poles right now? We would have, we would have caught our limit in Spanish. Butch is here. You could have probably just used a hand line and thrown it out there. Oh my gosh. It was, it was outrageous. So, um, anyways, you take your fishing pole holder, draw a couple of circles like a target. You stand about 10 or 15 feet back and then you play darts. So you don't need all the fancy gimmicks. This is our gift to you. Happy Memorial Day if you're at the beach and if you're listening or watching. And if you're not, thanks for checking the podcast out. But take your fishing pole holder, the small one, and you can play uh, beach darts. Cost you nothing. You're welcome. Butch, what are you doing? Listen to you trying to explain beach darts. <laughs> And if people trying to, have, trying to explain why he was using his fishing rod holders for not fishing. Well, yeah. I replied to the post and said, obviously, the fish weren't biting. <laughs> no, I, they were. I just had nothing to catch them with. So I was. I, we resulted, you me did, and the guy who was with me, we both so, looked at each other like, you need to buy you a, a collapsible essence, telescopic the rod. Fish biting because you didn't have your proper equipment. Yeah. yeah. You, you had you you rod. no chance. Go back to News River Sports Shop. Come That's on what show. I kept saying. You know what I also thought of? That, you know, the, I saw one of the p- planes with the banners that flies mm-hmm. by. You see mm-hmm. those all the time. That's the first one I've seen in a while. I was like, they should just have parachutes like in the Hunger Games. It'd be like, I'd like to order a fishing pole, please. And then they just drop it out of the sky. Like they're, so they're doing they're that with Katniss. drones. Well, not there. So obviously there's a, there's a, uh, there's a market there for it. And also beach darts. Yep. We should make we should make our own. You should play darts from the plane. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> like right Clear the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw me one of those fishing roll fishing pole holders out of the plane, please. I'll catch it. I look like Marv standing at the bottom of the building getting hit in the face with a brick. <laughs> be, be a bad ending to final destination. It would. You guys probably try to catch it off the chest, idiots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here That's was a studio. bad move. When oh Keith no! Goes wrong. Do you? Do you guys? I don't think we've even been on to talk about this. The video. I do know somebody stole our comment again. Drink Meyer from some Run Pure Sports or some ridiculous. They're like, oh, this this cop didn't get drug at all. Uh, you know, everybody's saying on the video. And then we replied, obviously, from our account and said, the only place this guy got dragged was in the comments of every single video that's been shown of this. And, of course, it got stolen by in some idiot. So, anywho, yes, that was absolutely outrageous. Um, maybe he watches okay. it, too. Maybe he does. Well, he never responded to it. I know he, I know he saw it, though. So, Chris is here. That damn sports network. They were live today. They're probably raking it in over there. Go follow them on Rumble. Absolute electric factory over there. Um, okay. Do we want to do the Rangers rant now or the Rangers story now or both? Let's 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 do the national day. Okay. And then that national? can be a salute your sports. Okay. Yes. Also, I can have two salute your sports. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> national World Redhead Day. This seems less this seems less Electric without our our resident redhead. I know. <laughs> my, my one of my favorite redheads in the world. I know. I know a few of them. We know two of them. At least two, three. Yeah, three. 
Shout out Quags. Red uh, hair, blue eyes, rarest, rarest folks on earth. Less than 2% of the world's population is born with naturally red hair. It mm. gets its color from high levels of reddish pigment, pheomelanin, and low levels of the dark pigment, ua, eumelanin. Uh, red hair has been associated with evil vampires and witches. <laughs> and there was a whole bunch of stuff about them getting. There was some dark stuff in there. Let's just say that. So <laughs> red hair is thicker. Unless you're like Javi and you got the you state got of Florida. He's getting the, the middle fade. <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's going to have to get the Outer Banks community to come up there and put some. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's gonna have to get some. He's gonna have to get a uh, what do they put a fake barrier reef up there? So yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> he's looking like the state of Florida up there. Oh, it's also this was interesting. Pain sensitivity linked to the M1CR gene. Uh, they have a high. They have a less. They have a lower th pain threshold. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Hmm. I believe it. That was interesting. I believe it. Shiva, <laughs> he's a fake barrier reef for his hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody's tan. Everybody's tan. I've never Today. seen somebody almost always brought to tears right before he throws up. <laughs> yes. Never seen anybody else. Dude, enter that. the crying seal meme right there. <laughs> <That's Jayvon. laughs> the you only person I've ever seen cry before he throws up <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, it's true, but he'll be, man, stand, he'll be standing stuff. in the corner just yeah. eyes watered tears streaming down his face <laughs> eat something hot same thing just tears streaming down his face low <laughs> low pain sensitivity he's he's genetically predisposed to it it's not his fault I'm though sure here right now no it's not his fault i know i don't know that. where he's at um scotland five pit five point three percent of uh 500,000 people are redheaded in Scotland. How about that? Ooh, he would fit right so. in there. Him, Bemo. <laughs> okay, right. I don't, Bear, I don't know if we can, I don't know, Bear, you, you've what? got some good jokes going on over there. But All right, on the show, uh, Rangers are America's team. Salute your sports, Sunday, dad joke, DFS Seggy. The GUIS guys, 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 hang the banners, other relevant sports news. Inner Squad Dad Kings Jamboree, you can see it right there at the bottom of your screen. We've got 30, I don't know how many people, quite a few. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you don't make it through the whole show, go download the podcast, please. That would be awesome. And if you leave reviews, we will gush and blush everywhere. Uh, okay, time for Salute Your Sports. Everybody, shh. Salute your sports. But first, a dad joke. What kind of sauce loves Christmas? Holiday sauce. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Holidays. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, we made it 134 shows, everybody. Butch did it. He did it. I'm 130. Wow. <laughs> the only thing I'm winning right now. Yes. True. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. I was waiting because I know you're on a little, a little delay, so I didn't want to cut you off there. But that was that was good because I know your All mind right. has I, been. I, I have a question for you. Okay. Where do you store all of these dad jokes? Database. Yes! You can't get me, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I saw a shirt that had that. I was like, yes, I got to ask. <laughs> oh. I, hey, I got it right up here. That's in my database. Santa sauce. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> mm. No idea. I don't know if I want it either. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Salute your sports. No NBA playoffs. NBA playoffs are dead. Both these series are an absolute rout. But 
the NHL playoffs have been spectacular. Care to comment, Tex? Yeah, the Rangers are in a uh, must-win situation. They, no, they you said that before to, the game. They have to uh, continue to win or else they will be out. Very astute. <laughs> very astute uh, analysis there. Yeah. They're also they're also in a can't lose situation because if they lose, they're done. Mm. Mm. That's also true. But if it were to end today, they would not have lost. But it doesn't because it goes to seven games. Very true. But everybody was all up in my text messages after the Rangers won mm-hmm. the, or lost the first game, mm-hmm. and now they've won back to back games, mm-hmm. and nobody has said anything. So, mm-hmm. well, the thing about it is. You do not want to go in overtime against the Rangers. No. I don't care. I have seen them countless times. They they come out victorious in OT. They're 4 0. Yeah. In the playoffs. Good, but, they, but they blew a lead. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, they're on shaky yeah, ground. You knew that was, they're that, on shaky ground. I mean, you knew you, that was going to happen, though. The, the worst ground. lead in hockey is what? The worst lead to have. It's two to one, is, is a two goals. It's two goals. It's the worst lead to have is a two to one lead in the playoff series. No. Yes. Not in the game. <laughs> yes. No. No. You know what I love? Yeah. You know what I yeah. love? Go ahead. Go on your rant. Go ahead and go on is your that rant. The Rangers. It's your turn. First You're of up. Eagle is this, your rant? is this it? Wait a minute. Is this, this it? Is it? This is it. All right. Go everybody. Ahead. Sh- the Rangers. Everybody's yelling at Zabanajad, Kreider, Panarin. And I'm sitting over here like, why are we not appreciating the resurgence, the rise to the top of Lafreniere, Mm. the brilliance of Igor Shosturkin, the the contributions from Winberg, Roslovich, and the defense being fairly solid other than Truba never being on the ice because he's just constantly elbowing people in the head. Been doing it for years. He has been. Now, and also Rempe out there contributing. Like, we've got all these depth pieces, and everybody wants to complain about Kreider, which they're rightfully so. Zabanajad has been horrible. There were multiple times where it was his fault they scored. But he's, he's turning into Malkin. He is slowly – I saw him ice the puck, lose the face off, and then, and then and they then scored. That actually sounds more like Latang. That sounds more like hey. Latang than anybody, really. Yes. Yes. The sports addicts guy, big Rangers fans, Igor Shell Sturkin shall not no. be de- denied. No, Igor also, Sh- Sh- Sturkin. No, shout out Eric from uh, that damn sports network for coming no. up with Igor, Igor Shell Sturkin because Dude. I thought I was going to have to drive down to the beach to go ghost crab hunting the other night whenever the Rangers were in OT. And now I've made a bet <laughs> with multiple people online that I will get a pet crab if the Rangers make the Stanley Cup. And his name will be Sturkin. I know. I'm going to have to get like 30 of them and like freeze them. Do they freeze? (laughs) They were pretty much dead when we had them in that bucket the next day. day. But anyways, so Igor Shell Sturkin, if they make it to the Stanley Cup finals, I will go get a ghost crab from the beach. Deal? Deal. Yes. Yes. We will I send. It, make, it might make good bait out there on your dock. It could. I'll get a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of e war shell circuits. Anyways, mm-hmm. that game today, the past two games have been spectacular. Like, there's no room on the ice. Lafreniere is out of control right now. That move he made to go up, I think, one or two. I can't remember which one it was. The hangly dangly, split the defenseman, get to the back, or get that to the backhand. 13. 13. That number 10 was out there doing figure sk- skating there for a minute. I was That's like, Panarin. Yeah, Panarin. Yeah, that guy. Panarin bread. Dude, I was laughing my ass off. He got across the blue line and he was silhouetting over there and then, then <laughs> passed it off. And I was like, what in the – that wasn't even necessary, but it was it sure did look cool out there. <laughs> he's yeah, he's playing his own game, and then he'll shoot a shot in like multiple times. It's I mean, there was like I think I counted four in a row right off of somebody's skates. I'm like you got to be kidding me, dude! Just get out of the way and let these other guys who are who are Bar- <laughs> Barkley, Goodrow, Vincent Trocheck, 
Oh my gosh, dude. They're like Leon, Leon dry settle and Connor McDavid out there nowadays scoring shorthanded goals, tic-tac-toe one timers. Anyways. Yeah. That, that was sick. That one, yes. that shorthander was sick. I was like, damn. It, I did have golf on at the same time. Well, that, I was, that was, that was also, uh, after uh, your boy did the elbow, that was his power play. True, but he got two penalties, and he was in the box for four minutes. So then what's the major? How how long is that for? Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. They were saying that was an absolute major penalty. I, I mean, when you look at it in slow motion, but I, I think that dude, fl- I think he was, I don't know. It, it didn't look like that much of a contact. Truba got juked out of his shoes, and he threw something. He just threw his arms out there is what it looked like. I don't know if it should have been a major or not. Everybody says yes. Everybody says no. You have never known Panarin had 49 goals. Regular season. It's true. I mean, where are these guys at? But it doesn't matter because the depth is having to come through, and Florida's got to figure out. Florida has no Florida has no offense. They're just, they just cycle the puck, cycle the puck, cycle the puck, throw it out in front of the net. I mean, their two goals were like ping pong balls. Anyways, whatever. Well, they they seem like their offense is just shoot and hope. Yeah, hope that something goes in. Yeah, I mean, they, they had like what ninety uh, some shots to thirty going into the third period. Yeah. Now it's not like shots on goal, but just shots. Yeah. How they calculate? I was like, they they have sixty more shots than New York. Yeah. It's like what. But, but that's, I mean, that's that's part of the keep the net front clear and let Shesterkin do what he does, and that's what Shesterkin does. I mean, the two goals beat him today off of stupid reader, like ridiculous nonsense, like Mickey Mouse stuff out there. It was it was outrageous. So, but they play like they Carolina. Huh? They play like Carolina with a better goalie. That's that's who Florida is. Dallas plays the same way. We thought the Rangers had a whole bunch more skill, but they're not even. I think. Fox hasn't scored a goal in like 25 games in the playoffs. Savannah Jad hadn't scored in seven games. Panarin hasn't scored in like six games. It's like, where are those guys at? Anyways. You just don't want to go to over, overtime against the Rangers. You got to beat them in regulation. Yeah. And they, ha- they have no power play. Their power play has been completely dismantled by the Panthers. So and that's because those three guys are on the power play. All right, salute your sports. Who wants to salute someone? <laughs> I'm going to go right. with Tiny Tommy Tanks at the LSU Tiny Baseball Tommy game Tanks? Day. Yep. This okay. dude in the stands wearing a bit one of those big giant hats with a wig with a cut into a mullet looking like Tommy Tanks, but is <laughs> much smaller. <laughs> so LSU Baseball does it again. Earlier this year, they had a dude get miss a ball, hit him right in the forehead. Now they got tiny tummy oh, tanks in the yes. stands. Yeah. <laughs> he waited his whole life for that moment. Yep. It'll probably never happen again. And missed it. Nope. Missed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. But they lost All right. Unless you did. Of course they did. Tiny Tommy Tanks. Uh Butch, do you have one? Yeah, I'm gonna salute our servicemen and women. Mm, first for Memorial Day tomorrow, but my salute to sports, I'm going to go with Kyle Larson making it back for the Coca-Cola 600. He made it back just in time in a timely fashion. They uh, delayed the race right now because of thunderstorm activity here in Charlotte, but he raced the Indianapolis 500 earlier today. It also got delayed, or he had made it back in time to start the race. And he was planning on racing over, what, 1,100 miles today. But he, uh, what did he start, fourth or something? At the Indianapolis, finished 18th. And now we're in the delay, but he'll be swapping with Allegire. Allegire. Mm. They're sit- currently sitting 13th, so watch out, number five car. In I'm position. Turn that off. Are they going yeah, to start racing again tonight? Uh, 
they should. I mean, that that storm should blow oh, through. What a late night, man. What a late night. Oh, you ever working those things? Yeah, dude. You're, you're probably still looking at 2 o'clock or something, early morning finish. And then, like us, when we used to work, we'd be there till 5. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, we'd be uh, taking a pit stop at at 150. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be getting uh getting some drinks on the way home, right? Yep. And, uh... <laughs> All right. I'm going to salute men eating meat from the New York Post. Just 12 percent of Americans, mostly men, are eating half of our beef supply. What? <laughs> from the New York Post. That's what it says. Just 12 percent of Americans, mostly men, are eating half of our beef supply. And this this is okay. <laughs> this says the the y axis is beef consumption ounces proportion of population and then it there's a dotted line that just has a picture that says threshold for disproportionate dispor- disproportionate consumption so i don't know well, the y axis is directly correlated to the y gene <laughs> that's what it looks like that's that's the study that uh the New York Post has done. They just like men are eating all the meat. Let's draw this graph up, and it basically I looks. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like what to say with that. <laughs> that looks like the Fafo graph. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it does. <laughs> oh, all right. That was salute your sports. Currently, Minnesota and Dallas are tied, eighty-five to five in the NBA. There you go. Hmm. 2-0, the series, both series are 2-0, and or I guess 3-0 and for Boston. But I guess the games have been good. I'm not really, I don't know. There's been comebacks uh, or something. The Dallas-Minnesota a series is pretty good. I don't know what the score is right now. Oh, here it is. I'm watching it. It's 80, I just said it was 87-87. Oh, it's, it's tied up? Yeah, end of the third. So, so. yeah, there you go. But. They've been taught that, that's uh, game two. You know, you had Luca hit that game winner, step back, walk, w- traveling on the three pointer, non call, hit the three pointer to go up 109 108. And Anthony Edwards, I'll get to that later. Mm. We have how dare you later? Yeah, the, hang the band, whatever you could, whatever, whatever uh, you want to do. Doesn't well, matter. I'll go ahead and, and say this. Anthony Edwards thinking that he's going to be above the Michael Jordan name. <laughs> and at the end of game two, you give up your pivot foot, you throw it out of bounds, turnover. And then the very next, after Luca hit the three pointer, you dish it to Nas Reed. MJ's not doing that. Nope. Case closed. Not doing that. He's coming nope. down there and hitting the shot. That's Wizards MJ. He's Wizards MJ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Who still right. averaged like 28 points a game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, but that, that's funny. You know, the guy plays like – there's nothing against Anthony Edwards. Like, No, no, guy, no. Anthony Edwards can play. I'm not saying that. But when it comes down to clutch time, there was no one better. Than MJ. Yeah, he wanted the ball, him and Kobe. But Luca, right now, I look this up, like all the big names, you know, he's the only guy I see right now that is averaging over 30 points in playoffs. That's even remotely close to MJ's 33 what point whatever. And that's not even close, you know. It's Why a lot can't harder Luca to be bring. MJ? Huh? Exactly. Why? That's what I'm saying. Like, why wouldn't he be in the conversation? Yeah. Luca Luke, Luke can play. <laughs> yeah, he can. So, but anyway, let's go on. All right. MG, let's talk uh, this. Let's talk, a little, let's talk a little golf.
Okay. The Schwab and Yero. Charles Schwab. The Schwabby Balls. Yes, yeah, Schwabby Balls, Schwab people, corn on the Schwab, whatever you want to call it. I don't even want to talk about what happened there. Otherwise, that was terrible. <laughs> well, just uh, thoughts and prayers out to yeah. the Murray family there yeah. and his uh, fiance. Yeah. So, you know, hard, hard not to talk about that. Uh, that's terrible. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of other places you can go get your information on that other than here. We just. <sighs> Just tragedy. Want to, just want to be thoughtful here. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to expand upon it other than just check on people if you if you can. So um DraftKings. Guys, G U I S, Butch, I didn't ever get yours. I don't even know if you gave one. But no. okay. I went, I I went so. down about the time we were doing that. So Yeah, I was wondering what happened there. There were three out of four this week, though. Tex blew it. Clearly. <laughs> Tex blew it. It was all his fault. We're 38 of 55 on the year. Now, summarize your best or worst lineup or how you would summarize your DraftKings golf shenanigans this week. Anybody want to go first? Yeah. I'm on my lineup. I shanked it into the woods because mm-hmm. shank shank with, shank withdrew after day one and the rest of my guys were just hot garbage so. <laughs> um that's i was i was searching through the points and i'm like huh he didn't have a very good tournament but yeah that that makes sense now Here's yeah. mine. Harry. Harry. English. You home alone me. You set me <laughs> up. You, you invited me into your house, and then you laid a bunch of booby traps to completely submarine my five out of six lineup by missing the cut by one stroke, and I probably could have gone to the top had you made the cut. Because I had a five out of six lineup that cashed in a single entry. And I made profit this week in all my lineups. And I won the Wotomaker. And Dylon, this is the portion of the show where you can text me an apology right now for all that day one jibber jabber you were throwing out. A strongly worded apology. Strongly worded apology. <laughs> I want all of your apology that you the best apology you've ever written. You can send it in a voicemail yes. form. I don't care. Give him a good hard apology, Dylon. You thought you wanted this smoke. You don't want this smoke. So stay down there, not on top of the golf water maker. Yeah. That's my spot. I live there. I play for some apology gravy all over those biscuits, Dylon. Mm. Mm. Tell them. Mm. All right. What's yours? Changing of the hose guard. Hmm. We had hose guard last week. We're at the PGA. It's a minus mm-hmm. two. Finished 68th. Not great. But looking back even further, finished 16th at the Masters. You know, doing great. And then he comes out today with an absolute hack job of a plus eight. Well, not even today. Two days ago. Mm. So him... I got hurt bad. This is this was a bad tournament. I finished almost last in my in my contest that I was in. I finished almost last. I think I might be last. I don't know. But I had Homa <laughs> miss the cut. The plus yeah. seven. Hom- Homa was terrible. Homa was four, bad. Missed the cut. The plus five with a plus four. Hose guard plus eight. Luca golf on the gus out there. High set soon. Who he I, set soon. You I, can't quit him. Yeah. Can't quit him. I keep I keep playing him. I keep I keep believing that he's gonna just absolutely be the person that I thought he was gonna be at the beginning of this golf season. And uh he's not. He's not that guy, pal. No. You tried. I tried. Tried he to ride him hard. That soon make the cut if you keep playing him. Yep. It's just mm. like 
just like uh, Jackie Chan said, the sun the sun rises in the east, but it sets in the west, and it's sitting on. It's, it was rising. <laughs> <laughs> it was rising in the east. No, it's sitting. That's it. <laughs> so it's rising in the west and now setting in the yep, east. Now it's now it's gone backwards. We're we are going <laughs> Superman reversing the earth time flash. It's like it's like Murphy's Law right now. You're like dropping <laughs> fishing Murphy. rod holders. You're dropping fishing rod. I'm trying to wind the, 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 the clocks back the here. here. This one, hey, you, I thought you were about to be a rough rioter. Yep. Nope. Re- Riot. <laughs> <laughs> Rio Satsune, and that is the only Riot. two guys that made the cut in that lineup are Busy Newt, <laughs> who, who I've also been riding for a while, and Dietry. No limit soldiers. You've been you've been getting you've been right you've been busy. Yep. Busy Newt. Yep. I've been Busy Newtoning. Mm. You've been keeping a Busy Newtoning, rooting tooty, fresh and fruity. Hmm. All right. Okay, we should call we should call his fans his fan club the Owls. Everybody is busy. And hoot, ooh, hoot hoot. Yep, hoot hoot. Oh, can't wait to get a ghost crab. Speaking of mascots, it's gonna be it's gonna die in like two days. Yep. It's gonna die in one day. Is there a way I could keep it alive? What if I just like I don't shade know. it? I, I think the issue is they have to they have to at some point get water i think at mm. some point they have to they have to get some what if i had to set up a terrarium down by the river probably, you snake probably do that no, i bet you i only know it i don't know I'll, well i'll just weekend at bernie's that thing yep <laughs> okay i gave so the guys three out of four GYS golfers up your sleeve. I gave you Troy Merritt, made the cut, got you 51 and a half DraftKings points. Shout out to me. Uh, Tex gave you Taylor Moore. He missed the cut, cut. At, at four over about two strokes. He gave you 25 and a half points. JVI gave you Davis Thompson. Wrong. What is that? Is that the bug assault? That's a, the the bug assault. Okay. Point out, it, you know, it's a salt rifle. Yes. No free shout outs, Bug Assault. Come on the show. J Bye right. gave you the wrong Davis. That was Davis Thompson, but he did go two under, tied for 17th. And Dylon gave you Aaron Rye, tied for 32nd, and even for 53 points. Davis Riley won a second event. This tournament, for the most part, everybody was around eight or nine, just like it was last year, except for Davis Riley. I thought Scotty was going to run him down. Is Scotty broken? There it is. Is Scotty Scheffler broken now? He only got second this time. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that today. <laughs> when it was finished, I was sitting outside. I was like, oh, he just had a smooth second place finish. He's, he's done. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with Scotty? <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's wrong with Scotty Scheffler? Uh, and is Morikawa back? No. Because as soon as you think he is, he's he won't be. That's true. I should never have said that. He is playing really good, though. Yes, he is. And I'm still at war with Scum JM because I never know when to play him. I play him, he withdraws. I don't play him, he goes out there and gets a top 10. And then I play him again, and he misses a cut. And then I don't play him again, and he goes out there and gets another top 10. So if you ever hear me talk about Scum JM, and I play him, don't play him. Then we don't need to play him. Yeah, don't play yeah. him. So unless unless you played him the week before. Yes. So go back, listen to the show, and then do that. Uh okay. I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna attempt to pull up the DraftKings uh screen here to talk about our best and worst. Uh, so I'm going to pull up one of the screens here, but we do have to shout out to Butch and Hubs. We, we sent out a tweet that was congratulating Hubs on his league leading 15th cut made. 
setting the record to which hubs responded because i asked what's the record and he said some scrub named tiger woods made 142 in a row <laughs> he goes i think i'd have a better chance of drinking that many guinnesses so shout out to hubs <laughs> and then butch if you would please tell him the greatest meme that was ever created you can you show it just show it uh I mean, I don't have, I can't show it on the computer no, screen, I, but I can show it on I my phone. A, I made a meme of uh, Tiger Woods, the big dog. What's up, big dog? And I put, there it is. Mm. You, can't, you can't have 142 without 14. And then and, there you go. Looking over the sh- shoulder in the crowd, lower, <laughs> lowered a little bit. I put Hub's face. Right there. There he is. There it is. Right there. Lurking, lurking in the background. He, he's peeking over your shoulder, Tiger. <laughs> he's coming. There he is. There he is. Okay. Uh, this was my best lineup that I'm going to show, and then we'll look at the winner, and then we'll talk about the Wodemaker. Hopefully I don't get booted, but here we go. There it is. This is my best lineup. DraftKings, do not screw this up. Scotty Scheffler goes out, shoots a, one, a two over on day one, and then goes 12 under the next two days. <laughs> and then sandwiches it with a one over. And there's old Harry sitting there, mm-hmm. sitting there, missed the cut. And look at these beauties. Troy Merritt, Bro Rogers, Rye, thanks a lot, Dylon. Uh and Lee Hodges, always my one of my favorites. We got to try to get him on the show. I'd love to get Lee Hodges on the show. Anyways, so that was my that was my best. That's the one that cashed in pretty much everywhere. Five out of six. Dex, I think you told us about yours, Bush. Did you have one or no? Have one. What? Your your best lineup. The lineup right? you want to talk about? Oh yeah, yeah. It's nothing. Uh to speak on okay well let's look at this winner withdrawing i mean it's it was garbage yeah you're done after that pretty much i'll try to get this there it is there's the winning lineup scotty at 39 percent. that's outrageous outrageous minwoo lee cage lee toasty Davis Wright, look at that! Look at that lineup, dude. He went the winner of this. I don't know what the total was. I'm not going to mess with my computer because it'll screw it up. He went Scotty Scheffler at forty percent owned, Minwoo Lee at four percent, forty percent, Minwoo Lee at four percent, Cage Lee at one percent, Toasty at one point six, Davis Riley at one point one, Vincent Norman at less than one percent. That's outrageous to be able to do that. Kudos to that guy, or Danny Ohms, or whatever his name is. So, it's still crazy to me that no matter what Scotty does, he's always going to be 35 to 40% owned no matter what, right? Well, it's almost you've got to play him. Yeah, if he's getting second or first every time. I mean, it's it so, screws up everything. Oh, no get that out of here. It's it's it screws up everything because you're like, now I have to go down here and get lucky on the other like three guys that I have to play in the five thousands. You know what I mean? So, uh, scoreboard X pod, go check them out. They're big time Rangers guys. They do a post game show after every Rangers game. They're awesome, hilarious. Uh, give the people what they want an appearance by Igor Shell Sturkin. That's right. It's exactly right. Igor Shell Sturkin will make his appearance and we'll try to keep him alive through the whole Stanley Cup. If not, it's going to be a weekend at Bernie's situation. Okay. Um, anything else on golf? Oh, the scumbags. Scumbags. Harry H- uh, Harry Higgs. Not Harry Higgs, dude. That Harry Higgs Harry. on a heater, brother. Thank you. Harry, 
Harry. Harry Higgs is on an absolute heater. He's one of back-to-back corn fairies. He might be a guest that we need to have on the show. So For sure. Harry English, scumbag. Homa, scumbag, 8,500 and above. 7,500 above. Kirk was a scumbag. Taylor Moore, Batia, Hostler, Eckroat, scumbag. Eckroat was like 28% owned. I'm pretty sure he missed the cut. And then 7,400 below. McIntyre only plays in the majors. Putnam, Novak, and Coles. Those guys were all like above 6% way down there. Um, And the listener league. We only, I don't know what happened, but we only had a few people in there, but I won the listener league. So in your faces, um, I won it with 362, that lineup I showed you. And Sophie saw came in second and super James. I don't know where he's at, but he is getting a shout out. Um, there you go. Um, anything else from golf? No, no, I don't think so. What do we got next? What's next week? Bush, do you know? No, I haven't looked at it. Yeah, I'll pull it up. Real Me quick. either. Text you get on that. Um, Canadian Open. Oh, 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 that one's always a fun one. Oh, Canadian yeah, Open's always fun. So that's going to um, be um, what Nick Taylor won it last year. Oh, with that putt where Adam Hadwin got bodied by the security guard. Yeah. You remember that? Yes. Yeah. I, re- I that remember. That was an awesome well. video. Because uh, that was like the first Canadians won it in like sixty years. Wasn't that, was that was an awesome good. tournament? Wasn't it Tommy yeah. Fleetwood that he beat? Like Tommy Fleetwood yeah. was about to get his first win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he drains like a fifty foot butt. Yeah. So Canadian, and then yeah, rolling right along. All right. Let's hang some banners, shall we? Let me pull the uh, everybody. Shh, it's time to and then back HTB you. hashtag. If, any, if anybody's watching here, we got quite a few people watching. If you want to hang the banner for somebody either on Memorial Day or this weekend, you could hang it for the guy who's going to grill all the hot dogs tomorrow. You could do that, or you could do what we're about to do. So everybody, shh. <laughs> Okay, hang the banners. Who would like to go first? I'm going to hang the banner for ESPN's graphics crew Mm. for putting up a graphic of Grandma's couch behind P.K. Subban. Oh, yes. And his outfit saying that he wore the exact same print as a Grandma's couch. A nice brown plaid. (laughs) <laughs> and they had an image of him pointing at the board with his hockey stick and a couch to look yes. just like a suit. That's hilarious. Good on them. Know, Good on them. And he took you it know in stride. It cuts his soul. You know it cuts his soul because <laughs> he loves to be the fashion guy. So that one hit yeah. him where it hurt. <laughs> yeah. Good for them. Good for him taking it in stride. Yes. Hang the banner for whoever did that. Okay. Butch, do you have one? Or you want me to go? I'm going to hang the banner to Lamar Jackson. Mm. He was at the uh, NASCAR race uh, supporting the number 12 car, which was Ryan Blaney, mm. who had an early exit. So I'm going to hang the banner. Sorry, Ryan, Ryan Blaney. Lamar is used to early exits, and that could have been the reason why. <laughs> Do, is it because Lamar Jackson has lost a, a, like 10 pounds and so the car was lighter? Good then. Mm. Got a little, it got a little squirrely going uh, turn two. Lost control and it, there he goes. Hey, uh, Ravens fans, you're going to have a great regular season and then Lamar will win his third MVP because probably never been done or something and then you will then inevitably stink in the playoffs and lose to either the Bills or the Chiefs. So congratulations on your divisional round exit again, Ravens fans. 
Thanks for playing. Um, I'm going to hang the banner for LeBron James. There you go. The taco commercial? No. Uh, LeBron James is a fan of Bojangles. Well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> He's, I can't remember what the quote was, but LeBron James says when he goes to the North and South Carolinas, he always makes it a point to get there's Butch just ripping off flies with his bug assault. Uh, <laughs> Show us the trophy. Show it to us. Hey, mm. that's not that's that's not a fly anymore, pal. That's a flu. <laughs> the thing flew. It's done. You're not. You're you're past tense. <laughs> oh, it's all twitching, <laughs> dude. Freaking. Uh, what's that salt company with the umbrella? Morton's. It's got a Morton's, Morton's pile driver right to the face, fly. Um, I'm hanging it for LeBron James for understanding that Bojangles is in fact some of the best chicken on the planet. Mm-hmm. But I'm 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 a little bit skeptical of his of his uh, his infatuation with it because he does not know when Bojangles is at its absolute best. And I think all three of us on this show can agree that Bojangles the day after the day after yes. at about noon when Chick-fil-A is closed is I'm the sorry. absolute best. <laughs> so LeBron, with all your wine and all your shenanigans, come on down to one of the Carolinas, have yourself a wine night somewhere. And then the next day, go get yourself a Cajun egg and cheese and don't get the three piece. Don't even think about it. Get a biscuit, Cajun filet. You get a biscuit and, with the three piece. Yeah, but yeah, but you need the you need the biscuit. You need the Cajun filet biscuit, LeBron. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cajun. So, I mean, you got to go back multiple times. The yeah. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Also yes. delicious. The Bow Cajun, rounds. The Cajun with pimento cheese. Delicious. Ooh, that was a fantastic biscuit. Mm-hmm. They, you can still get it. They can still you? have it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't even know if that was just like a one time summer thing last year. No. Mm. Do oh, that secret. Time. There you go, LeBron James. Come on the show. We'll we'll walk you right through the menu. Um, bow rounds. I forgot how good bow. I haven't had bow rounds, and I don't remember the last time I had bow rounds. Dirty rice. Come on. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Have you tried the bird dogs? No, I haven't. Bird dog just do had you, a puppy, so that's a couple hundred dollars a piece. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your bird, your dogs just had puppies? No. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Um. Anyways. Just more so. Oh. If you like, do you like honey mustard? Do you want me to answer rhetorical questions? Okay, I don't like honey mustard, so the bird dog I had to scrape <laughs> off. I had to scrape off the honey mustard. You don't it's like some, honey mustard? It, no, I don't like mustard at all. Mustard sucks. Mustard and mayonnaise can get out of here, as far as I'm concerned. Get them out. Yeah, you can go with them. Get them out, <laughs> pal. Did everybody hang their banner? Mm-hmm. I think yeah. we did. Um, okay, quickly. Three minutes of NBA talk. Go. Uh, Luca's good. He has a black Batman named. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, what was that? No, Black Robin. Black Robin. <laughs> Kyrie. Black, Kyrie's his black Robin. He said it. It's a quote. I'm quoting him. <laughs> Okay, all right. But that's about all I know. <laughs> all right. That's good Anyone NBA else? insight. Also, no, the other uh the other thing is the TNT crew is about to get booted apparently. So that's a big stink. Shaq Dude, and that's terrible. Hit. That's that's really the, like the worst thing that they could do for basketball. Why? Cuz that nobody people talk about that show and the reactions in the in the conversation of that show just as much as they talk about the game itself. It's mm-hmm. part of basketball. Mm-hmm. My that show, should, that show should be in the Hall of Fame. Was should off. be. Why would they cancel then? I, I it's something the, with the Turner's TV, losing right? Basket. 
start losing basketball, I think. It's changing networks. Mm. It's not going to be on TNT anymore. I think. Mm. I'm not really sure. But that show should not go away. No. no. They need it. It's hilarious. Even the TNT I mean, guys for hockey is, is phenomenal. Them. Like, let's go. Dude, Luca. Oh. Golly. He just. Dude. They're up four right now. Bear, Dijon was, Mustard, Dijon. Come on. Get out of here. Dijon, I don't care. Mustard sucks. I'm not going to agree to it. Get out of here. Sports Addicts Podcast. Thanks for shouting. You can replace him with a new ghost crab. No one will know. It's like how they had different lassies during the show's run. Don't tell me that, sports addicts. Lassie's 47 years old, dude. And I'm never, you're never going to tell me any different. Remember that movie Milo and Otis? Yes. They went through like 20 cats in that show. <laughs> you, you remember the King of Queens episode when, when Doug thought that his parents had Rocky and he was like, he thought the dog was like 35 years old. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Great episode. That's what you just did to a sports sports addicts. Do you remember where the red ferns grow? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Do you remember this ghost crab that I'm about to get? It's going to be like six weeks old. It. It's going to be. Dude, I'm getting a ghost crab. Dude, hang a banner to our successful uh, camp. So. Oh, yeah. Football camp? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what I should have done. Yes. Yeah, a bunch of kids out there, me and Butch, put on a youth football camp. Fantastic out sh- showing Mainly and uh, great success. Great success. Yeah. That was three minutes of NBA. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> the timer just went heavy. off. <laughs> that was three minutes because the timer just went off. Uh, um, right. uh, I did have two other. Also, Angel Reese was talking trash about Caitlin Clark. Here's here's a minute of That's WNBA. It? Yeah. So she got up there and cried about how everybody was mean to her, and then they beat her, and then she went right back on the I'm a I'm a I'm a bad A, you know, big, big, yeah. strong, you know, and it's like, all right, you're you're now fraudulent. You've just you've lost all credibility at this point. Uh and the only other thing I had was from OTA's two reports, which this is mm-hmm. hilarious. Bears rookie Caleb Williams struggled mightily today with the starters with many near interceptions. Williams completed just three passes and seven on sevens. Most of the passes were completed to the flat and Williams held onto the ball for a long time. No. She Sherlock. All he did was run around. I cannot wait for this to be the greatest flop of all time. I don't wish anything bad on the guy, but as much as he thinks of himself, and as everybody's been calling him the next greatest thing, that's exactly what I would think would happen in a practice. It's seven on seven. How do you hold on to the ball too long in seven on seven? What's how do you nobody's open? Okay. We're going <laughs> we're, he's no weapons. Are we gonna do that argument again? Lock, locked down corners. Unbelievable. <laughs> and then the other one was. Kenny Pickett is reportedly outperforming Jalen Hurts throughout OTAs. Mm. Quarter, quarterback controversy in Philly, dude. Wait, did they not even mention Russell Wilson? Kenny Pickett plays for the Eagles now. Wait, what? when did that happen? When did that happen? <laughs> A couple months ago. Kenny Pickett plays for the Eagles. When they signed Justin Fields, so Kenny he's, Pickett... He's beat- He's beating out Jalen Hurts. Yes. I thought you said Justin Fields. No, no, no. I was only half listening because I'm trying to get into two bills drive and it's the site's down. Oh, no. That's because it's National Redhead Day. That's true. Oh, my Everybody's favorite redhead in up. the world isn't here. Mm. <laughs> we don't know where he's at. I hope he's okay. Yeah, me too, man. I miss his. I miss his. He's like, he's like the rarest. He's the rarest human on earth. Red yes. hair, blue eyes. Fading, fading skull. Yes, fading barrier hair. reef. We're putting up a false barrier. He might, reef. <laughs> he might really be the only, the bald, only balding redhead. <laughs> Him and Prince William or Harry or whoever it is. <laughs> uh, reigning in him. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news. 
Yep. Reigning NL MVP Ronald Acuna out for the rest of the season with a torn ACL. Mm. Oh, no. That's terrible. Damn, again? Yeah. Yikes. Sorry, Braves fans that are listening and watching. Dude, that's, that's still the most epic video we've that, uh, yes. captured right there. Yes, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. Uh, shout out Justin Lauer, too, real quick. Uh, Hub is absolutely cooking, first of all. But Justin Lauer is fourth in proximity to the hole on tour. So, shout out Lauer Rangers. Uh, yeah, when, when he cricket. Does he throw was... dark, beach darts? Uh, I'm going to send the video to them both and be like, hey, <laughs> new beach game. Beach darts. <laughs> when you forget your fishing poles, you just reminisce so badly. I'm like that guy in the meme who's like sitting around waiting everywhere. We're like, man, I wish I had my fishing poles. But instead, I'll just take what I can of fishing and put it to use. So really, I'm a survivor. I hope he responds and declines beach darts and says, I'm just going to send it to Hubs. Be like, hey. I, I, I never find myself on the beach. I'm always on the green. Oh, Justin Lauer would never be on the beach. He's 35 feet from the pin. Okay. Uh, we've been in an hour, and I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day tomorrow. Yes. Uh, Quick poll for you two. As the coach of the flag football team, best team in the league, all the parents ask me if I should have practice tomorrow. Should we? No. 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 Move okay. to another day. Okay. We, well, I don't know if we can, but. Yeah. Or just have, have it. Just Whenever your next game is, have a practice an hour before that. The beauty was, is all the kids afterwards, like, we want to they we want to practice. I'm like, wow, yeah. that means they're having a lot of fun. <clears throat> yep. They want to be there. That's great. Just move it to the next the next game hour before that and just practice then. Okay. Solved. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh Watermaker, I'm in the lead with twelve. Dylon's in second with ten. J Vi's with nine. Tex has four. Butch has one. Maybe you can get a NASCAR. Maybe you can get a NASCAR. Maybe. We'll see. We we got a long uh race ahead of us here. I was in the mountains whenever you set it up, so mm. I didn't, Oh, I, didn't I did come up with it. In. I did come oh. up with a new App State hashtag instead of roll nears because that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Is, also, yeah. paying the banner for App State for winning back to back best group of five stadium in the country. Yes, that's that that deserves some kudos. We beat Boise State this time. We beat the Smurf Turf. Mm. You want you want to come at App State and challenge their fans to show up? That's a bad that's a bad contest for whoever that is. So shout out us, go App State. Um, Mavs win again. Mavs are going to win. Oh, yeah, they're up by 11. It's done. This is over. Both the series are going to be done in four games. That's hilarious. Classic NBA. Classic NBA. Can't give us a good series. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in for an hour on your vacation. We had a lot of people watching tonight. Thank you uh, for those who stuck it out. Uh, if you could, leave us a review on your podcast app. That always gives us really good fuzzy feelings when you do that and we will shout you out um follow us on youtube the millie goats from all the millie goats twitter at millie goats instagram at godaddysites.com and subscribe to the show rate the show review the show thank you bear with a machine gun thank you chris thank you everybody on rumble who is tuning in uh, and hanging out with us. Uh, we will see you Wednesday. Go Rangers. Don't anybody tell you anybody different. <laughs> Holy cow, we got bug assaults and rifles coming out in the show before something stupid happens. 